Moving on to question number 146. Choose the odd one with respect to cause of infertility in females. First one, cryptorchidism. It's a condition which is seen in males and it is a condition in which one or both of the testes fail to descend from the abdomen into the scrotum. So this makes it odd one because it's occurring in males. The fibroid uterus, blockage in oviduct or defective vaginal growth, any of these physical pathologies or abnormalities can lead to infertility in females. So these are okay. The odd one here is cryptorchidism which makes it our answer. The answer is option number one. Students question number 147 was which of the following are possible ill effects of using contraceptive devices? The side effects or the ill effects of using contraceptive devices, it's given in a paragraph format in NCRT. Nausea, yes, it can occur. Abdominal pain, yes, very well. Breakthrough bleeding can occur because a foreign device is inserted. Regular menstrual bleeding, the line says it. irregular menstrual bleeding is apparently seen or can be caused due to contraceptive devices. Breast cancer, yes, there are even chances of development of cancer if uh, contraceptive devices are used. So, except for D, all the options are correct. So, A, B, C and E. The correct answer is option number 3. Question number 148 students, if we consider GIFT and ZIFT fertilization in former and latter occur. So in vitro or in vivo in various combinations are given. In GIFT, that is gamete intrafallopian transfer, fertilization of sperm and egg occurs inside the female body. So it would be in vivo fertilization. While in ZIFT, the fertilization of sperm in a egg occurs in a petri dish that is in a laboratory so that would be an in vitro fertilization the correct option here is option number two in vivo and in vitro for GIFT and ZIFT respectively I hope you got this right all right moving on question number 149 now it reads complete the analogy anteater to numbat so lemur to which organism this is an analogy given with respect to the convergent evolution of placental mammals and Australian marsupials. It's given in the table format in NCRT very well. The lemur shows convergent evolution with spotted cuscus. So the answer here becomes spotted cuscus. That's why it's very important to read all the diagrams and also the tables given in the NCRT. Such questions can be directly picked. Also, flying squirrel shows uh, convergent evolution with flying phalanger. Bobcat shows it with Tasmanian uh, tiger cat and Tasmanian wolf with a wolf. Answer is 1. Question number 150. Panspermia is favorite idea for some astronomers in context of origin of life. According to this concept, so they are asking about what is the idea or the philosophy related to panspermia. Life was created by God. This was theory of special creation that is involving supernatural powers. So this is incorrect. Life originated from non-living materials like mud and straw. This was theory of spontaneous generation. And is incorrect. Life came on earth as spores from some other planet. Yes, this is correct. This speaks about the panspermia concept. According to this idea of panspermia, life forms came on earth from seeds of spores which were deposited on earth by, which were carried on earth from some other planets. And lastly, life arose from some pre-existing life. This was theory of biogenesis. And it's very different from panspermia concept. So the answer is third. This is the correct option.